So welcome back to this another lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to look at WebLogic concept. In the previous lesson, I gave a high level brief overview of what topics we are going to cover in this lesson. So, or in this module. So let, let's start with the first and the most important about WebLogic concept. So what is a WebLogic server? It's nothing but an application server, which is Java E7 version of Java compliant. So application server is the server on which you deploy the application that has a logic and this application server helps you to run that application running on the application server so that's what is the web logic server provide so what you do you deploy or run and distribute java based applications on this application server this application server access other services like database to store the data or messaging server to to send the messages across between applications or to connect to the external enterprise systems like e-business suite or Siebel or PeopleSoft or maybe Salesforce or SAP and so on. So these that is the WebLogic server. WebLogic server where is exactly is used? It's used pretty much every Oracle product, be it SOA or OBIE, Access Manager, Identity Manager e-business suite fusion applications enterprise manager 13c and so on so you'll understand and appreciate if you're looking for cloud java cloud services sua cloud services identity cloud service platform and most of the pretty much sua cloud service integration cloud service on some platform you might have access to the weblogic some you may not have but all underlying feeding using weblogic server now in 12c version there's a it supports multi-tenancy which means what do we, what is multi-tenancy we'll cover that in in a minute in the sub in the respective lesson we have a dedicated lesson for this so where one domain is supporting multiple tenants what is tenant what is the domain we'll look that in a minute now weblogic server now is also supported on a docker container and if you're a beginner if you don't know what is a docker will maybe worth googling what is a docker solution it's basically quickly and rapidly deploy applications uh, on a on a platform which is called a docker platform which is a additional software think of it as a like a virtualization or virtual server but it's not actually the virtual server it's it's an an in compact application in a docker container so weblogic support that as well and other competitors there are a lot of application servers out in the market but these three are top ones apache followed by weblogic and then ibm westphere these are the three main players in application server space you will see either apache tomcat you will either see ibm websphere or oracle's weblogic server there are plenty more but these are more the most common implementations of application server so this is all about weblogic server in terms of if you look at the task what a administrator does administrator install the weblogic server they configure domain they also you or a weblogic administrator will be deploying the application given by the developers you manage and migrate the domain from a test dev environment to the product environment integrate with identity access management systems security system third party systems or like databases or e business suite and so on troubleshoot any issues find out the performance tune it some app users might say hey it's running slow so that's where you look at java virtual machine garbage collections or the stuck threads and we'll cover all these things on a high level in coming lesson then monitor and manage the weblogic server configure and set up high availability and disaster recovery so these are all tasks of weblogic admin and let's quickly look at what are the tools available to you come handy so there's a tool called weblogic admin console we'll see and in in a minute about weblogic console how does it look like so it's a graphical user interface to manage the entire domain you have another graphical user interface which is fusion middleware control then you have a command line utility which is called a weblogic scripting tool or wlst you also have restful apis exposed by the weblogic server through which you can manage and, and deploy applications you also have 
configuration wizard that will be used to create or extend a weblogic domain. We'll see all these things in coming lesson. You also have Apache Ant deployment tool, which is from open source to deploy applications on top of weblogic server. You also have SNMP agent, which is a simple network management layer or protocol to and through which weblogic has been exposed and you can you can do the hooks and manage weblogic server so these are various tools on available for weblogic so in the next lesson we are going to look at or head on to where we talk about another most important component or or or, or uh, concept which is called as weblogic domain but before we go to weblogic domain or before we head on to the next le lesson let's quickly recap on what we covered in this in this lesson so we looked we started with weblogic server i said it's an application server it uses to run the applications so it you deploy application on top of that in 12c it supported multi-tenancy what that multi-tenancy will we are going to discuss in a minute it also can be run or weblogic can be run in a docker based containers or docker containers and other competitors are ibm websphere and apache tomcat the admin tasks these are some of the admin tasks done by weblogic administrators you also have the tools handy, which are two graphical user interfaces, a WebLogic scripting tool, RESTful APIs, configuration wizard, and an SNMP agent. So head on to the next lesson. We will look at what exactly is an admin server, what is a WebLogic domain, what is cluster, what are the resources and services, and where are these configurations stored. I'll see you in next lesson.